Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 127. Now in this tutorial I just wanted to quickly go over uh, the way I'm going to be constructing the visuals for my inventory or at least the icons for my items. So I've never tried using the resource load method because I've, I have the advanced or the pro version of Unity so I've always used asset bundles. But I know the majority of the people that are following along only have the basic version. So I figured I'd explore the resource load option uh, and let's just see how it looks so far. Right now I've only created the one icon and that's for short sword. So let me just open up my inventory. I generate a bunch of short swords. <laughs> and when you click it, of course, it just adds it to your inventory. Uh, later on I want to make a tool tip so when you hover over it you get your uh, your description of you know, what the item's name is, what it's damage, whatnot. But right now I just wanted to focus on the visuals and the way I'm going to be setting this up. So let's take a look at my GUI. I've created my skin and we've covered uh, GUI skins before so it shouldn't be too much of a learning curve for people. And what I've done is I've come down to the bottom and I've created my own styles. Now the one I'm using for the display right now is my inventory slot uh, common and later on I'll want to make another one for inventory slot uncommon and then I'll want one for rare, uh, maybe unique, legendary, crafted, epic, as many different custom styles for as many different basically tiers of uh, that you can have for your items. So let's just open that up. I'm only playing around with uh, two of the I guess you call them properties and that's the normal and the hover. And basically I've just gone ahead and created the backdrops for for the items. So all my common items regardless of its uh, armor, weapon, potion or whatnot it's going to have the exact same backdrop. Now what I've gone ahead and done is created a resource folder and you'll want to do the exact same thing. Resource is what you're going to want to name it. And inside of there I've gone ahead and created a, a subfolder hierarchy. Now this hierarchy underneath your resources folder can be whatever makes logical sense for you. Uh, for me I want to have my icons in here and I want the icons for uh, all my items in game, at least the ones that can be displayed in my backpack. So we open it up and you see I've already divided it into armor, uh, miscellaneous weapons, bags, and of course you open up, we'll open up weapons and I've got melee and ranged and we'll open that up and I could go even further and I probably will a little bit later on because uh, you see I have you know several axes so I can make an axe folder and just put the axes in there uh, same as with the swords. I have a few different swords. I can put group the swords together. Uh, the only one I've completed is the sword 1H01. And what you'll want to do when you're creating this image is set your background to be transparent. Uh, so if you're using Photoshop, just make sure you have a transparent background. And I've added a nice little drop shadow. If we actually look at it, I'm going to reveal this in Finder. And I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. I oh, will just, yeah, we'll open up Photoshop. So it's loading. And it's way down here. <laughs> so here we go. I'll just zoom in a bit. Oh, way too much. So that's basically what my icon looks like. And I accidentally clicked off. So this is basically what my icon for my short sword looks like. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the backdrop that I have for my items, uh, for all my common items, and I'm just simply, instead of displaying our name, I have a, an icon property assigned to every item now, and I store the icon as the, the actual sword part, and the background it picks the background according to the rarity of the item. Now I've never used resource load before or at least the resources class and there's a few things about it I don't like uh, like for instance all your items are loaded uh, with your application when it's first starting to load so it can make that initial load a little bit bigger where using asset bundles allows you just to pick and grab what you need when you need it. But We'll try this out and we'll see how it goes. It'll work at least for the people that don't have advanced. And basically this video is just a little heads up on how to start creating your little icons. 
So basically you're going to want a backdrop for your different rarities and you're going to want an icon with a transparent background for your actual items and we'll be assigning those to our items. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.